Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Monica and today in this video we will learn about the fields in Jira product discovery. In Jira product discovery we have the two categories of the fields. First one is the built-in or system fields which you cannot modify or delete and the second one is the product custom fields that you can create, modify and delete. In the discovery projects we have the out of box custom fields. We will learn how you can create the more custom fields in the Jira product discovery in this video. This is my Jira product discovery project and here I have the view. This is the first view all idea and you can see this is the field option is available here. If you are not the creator or the admin of the JPD project, you will not be able to see this fields option. Right now, I'm a creator and admin as well, so I can see this option perfectly. Now, I will click on this fields and here in this panel, we have two section fields in this view and the second one is the available fields. These are the available fields here. Fields in this view are 16. It means this is the view all ideas and in this view we have the fields. So what are the fields here? These summary, confidence and the customer list, customer language, assignee, at last goal. These all are the fields inside this view. So if you want to add more fields in this view, you can simply click on this add icon and you can search your fields let's suppose i want to add this system defined field or built-in field which is comment so i can simply do it and here you can add the field like this but if you want to create more fields you can simply go here in the fields and then you have an option to create a new field click on create a new field you can give it a name this will be the project phase and here you can select the types you can go with the checkbox date number or multi-select so it's up to you i will go with the multi-select here just click on create and now you can see in this view the project phases is a field here you can go and add the option if you want to write the description about this particular multi-select project phase field you can do it now we can go and add an option let's suppose it will be a planning phase and second could be the development phase and here we have settings to add the emoji so these are the formatting settings here let's suppose i want to add something uh, like this it is a planning so don't think much about this emoji this is just for the demo and you, if you want to highlight the row and the cards with this color then you can also do it you can choose which color you want to use for the planning phase so i will go with the green here and if you want to delete this option then this is the way you can delete it now do it let's go to the development i want to choose the different icon here it could be like this i can go with the color this one and this is how you can add or find the option here for the multi-select field project phases. So this is how you can add the custom fields. You have the different different types of the custom fields here. So when you will go here, you can see we have the standard fields, we have the dynamic fields and we have the insights fields as well. So it's up to you. You will design your custom fields according to your own requirement when you will click here on the fields then we have the other options like if you want to remove this particular field completely from this view you can do it we have option to do that if you want to hide or show you can do that and we have an option to the field setting if you will go then you can edit the field where you will have an option to edit the name to edit the emoji and about the formatting so it's up to you accordingly how you will do that now we will learn about the custom formula field type and this is a very interesting field type in the jira product discovery you can create the formula fields in your view and get the most out of the jira product discovery here we have a fields option when you will click and click on create a new field you will have an option to give it a name and select the type so i will go and uh, type this is testing sum up formula and i can go and choose select custom formula then roll up add input i want to take insights and confidence 
here i am taking two input values insights and confidence in the custom formula we have roll ups weighted score and write your own a roll up will give you the sum of a different fed values so here i have selected the roll up it means it will give me the sum of these insights and confidence fields value the second one is the weighted score a weighted score helps you to understand the value of an idea related to the other ideas and the third one is write your own it means you can write your own formula using this simple expression i will explain you how you will write and how the expression will look like so we will select the roll up and then i will create once you will hit the create here in this view you can see this is the testing sum which is giving me the sum of two fields which is insights and confidence here we have three so we will go in a first row and we will see inside is three and we do not have any value in the confidence so that's why it is giving me the sum three in the 92 uh, the insights that we have is one and but in the confidence we have the value 91 so sum will be 92 here this is how the roll up custom formula works now we'll go again and create a new formula this time i will give the versus impact or impact versus effect so it's up to you how you want to use it but i'm just telling you how to use the custom formula with the expression write your own here you can see in the placeholder we have the rise formula here so if you want to create your rice score then you can write your expression like this and do it but right now i'm just wanna check effort versus impact so what i'm i am gonna do i will write effort and note s and then impact and then i will create is this is effort versus impact and it is calculating the value so this is how you can write your own formula the third one is we have the weighted score so let's go and see what is the weighted score formula here we can go and give it a name which is weight score uh, you can uh, do the naming according to your own need now we will select the custom formula and then i will go with the weighted score so what did weighted score here so this formula will take the attributes and the score will be between 0 and 100 to the each idea based on the input provided the idea with the lowest score will get the 0 and the idea with the highest score will get the 100 and rest of the other ideas value will be in between 0 and 100 so positive inputs change the score positively and the negative inputs will change the score negatively so it's up to you what uh, fields you are taking as in positive inputs and what fields are you taking as an in negative inputs this is how we can also create the weighted score we will go and choose a positive inputs which will be customer interest and i can choose maybe development efforts so you can see here it's 50 percent 50 percent and in the negative inputs i can go and check the efforts and then i can create so it's completely for the demo do not use this particular weight score in your jira product discovery view but i'm just explaining how you will calculate the uh, fields using the custom formulas i hope now you can understand the concept of the fields in the jira product discovery because fields are the main building block of the jira product discovery you can add the different different fields in your views and design your views according to your own requirements thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video then please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching have a great day